very easy because they dream a lot. So it can be within these dreams, it can be illusion, disillusion. It can be a lot of stuff. Are, are you Pisces? Pisces rising. Pisces rising. That that I am. Pisces rising. And Pisces, and when we say Pisces rising, that is that's not the sun sign. No, that's not the sun sign. My sun sign is a Capricorn. And most of us know about our sun sign. They don't teach us too much about our rising, our Venus, North Node, South Node, and all that stuff. But my rising meaning what I came to be here in this lifetime was a Pisces because I came here to ascend to that. That's why it's my rising because I came to ascend. Oh, okay. I like to have the blues and I see right there. I need some tan to throw it all off. Okay. Uh, that was the first time hearing it put in that form as far as rising, so I can take away from that. I gotta remember what my rising is. I, I can't remember. But uh, <laughs> uh, um, so, do you, and when it comes to your zodiac, I, I still want to know your Black Lives Matter point of view. But when it comes to your zodiac, um, uh, are you just uh, in the Zodiac zone, or do you get in all the like the numerology? No, the I, Chinese signs. I get into it all. all. Divine and God. Divines are queens. Gods are king. But I get into it all. Like my number for today is ten twenty three. Now ten twenty three. What's that? What that symbolized? Those frequencies of one to zero to two and three. As it keeps, it's, it's a flow. It's ten thirty three. 10, 23, I apologize. So it's the one, two, and the three. The zero is nothing and everything, so you can always take it out and put it there. So it's 10, 23 is more of you're flowing. Abundance is coming to you. Uh, fear is easily, easily na navigated with meaning. It pops up, fear is gonna pop up, but it's for us to know that fear doesn't exist, but danger is real. Danger is real, fear doesn't exist. Mm. That was um, break that down. Like, what do you mean by fear doesn't exist? As in, fear is just it, it, it's, it's fear. It's your lower self trying to get a hold of you. It's like negative thought. Pre perfect example is an ant. A fear is an automatic negative thought. That's why it's an ant. Ant. A N T. Automatic negative thought. Just like an automatic negative thought and an ant. An ant can pick up a whole loaf, damn near a loaf of bread by himself, and move it. That's what a negative thought can do to you. Something so small can shift you and take you here. When it's just, it's something that's just playing out in your head. It's in your head. It's for us to be able to identify these fears and know that fear isn't real. So I'm just gonna face it, and when the time comes, everything will be okay. I mean. I believe we all have fear somewhere in our head, but it's for us to know that fear doesn't exist. Like, an automatic negative thought is not going to take me and control me and shift my aura or my frequency. It just won't happen because I've been through those chapters already. Well, can we say that um, fear exists in the mind, but it's not tangible Perfect. within reality? Unless you make it tangible, unless, unless you, you're you just so deep off into that fear energy to where now you're bringing that to, to life, mm -hmm. then that's different. But fear is something that only exists in the mind. Okay, okay. And the mind, you did ask me about Black Lives Matter, right? Right, right, right. Okay, now everyone, I, this is the part to where I'm going to start paying real good because this is a strong subject, but I also want everyone to listen. How I feel about the whole Black Lives Matters, it's gonna be a broad one, so stay tuned. It's all life matters, all life matters. And this is why I say it. I'm gonna to get to that promise, because we have to. <laughs> it's all life matters because we're all human beings. We're all here to experience and, you know, do what needs to be done. And I look at this, like I said, all life matters because we're we're all souls. We you don't. Know, not everyone has a soul, but we're all spirits. But we're not going to get too far into that. But all lives matter. But black life matters when it comes to a scale of now. We as a people, we need to heal. Yes, black people need to heal amongst black people. 
Latino wants to heal amongst Latino. Asian need to heal amongst Asian because, and why need to heal amongst white? Because they understand each other more because they're the same thing. That's to me when I'm like Black Life Matters. And now if you tie that down, you go into Black Life Matters is, are all these people, yes, the Black Lives we have been through the most. In that scenario, yes, Black Lives Matters. So I believe we as Black people need to come together and heal as a people. So that way we can understand that if it is those individuals out there that's in that iteration of a marriage, and I think, say the lady's white, the uh, man is black, I think she needs to heal with her side of family, he needs to heal with his side of family, and then come together as a whole, because now y'all are gonna have to heal together, because y'all have these, these kids or whatnot that tie y'all together. So that's just how I view the whole black life matter. Us as black people, we do need to come together so we can heal, and us as black, we have been through the most, especially our black women. Mm -hmm. So, in, in, I, I understand that, in because that's just like, to us, that's just like a no-brainer. That's just like, yeah, of course our lives matter, and, you know, and, and all that. But as far as that specific movement that is going on, do you think that that movement has an underlying agenda? Um, of course it has an agenda, but is the agenda really for us or is it something else? That's a great question. I have a great answer for that, Steve. I don't know because black life, their agenda, I don't know their agenda. I can only give you my point of view of what I think about Black Lives Matter. Now this movement that's out here that's called Black Lives Matter is when we're in times like this, we have movement, protests, and they're always gonna infiltrate. So that's why I don't like to stick too much with like all these groups that's amongst us is from my point of view, I know why Black Lives Matters. If I'm doing anything that has to do anything with Black Lives Matters, it will be from my point of view, not from the organization Black Lives Matters. Yeah. Well, now, am I saying I wouldn't work with Black Lives Matters? I will because if, even if I'm working with them, I'm working for my purpose, mm -hmm. for my cause. It just so happened I'm also working with them because it's also helping them out. We align in that particular moment and that particular thing that we're trying to do. But I don't, I won't bash any group. It's just I can, I don't know the fullness of the organization Black Lives Matters. And that's due to my ignorance is me not taking the time to go find out. And and the reason why I will say I don't take my time to go find out is lead back to what I'm saying. It's always going to be infiltration. It's always going to be this. It's always going to be that. Mm -hmm. I just want to do what I, I've been put here to do. Yes. Have, you, have you experienced any um, uh, race relations since you've been here in the States? Here I go to funny thing. I'm in Houston, Texas. You know, oh, Texas. <laughs> we all know what I'm saying. But here, one thing, I've never experienced anything racist until I, I, I turned to age, I believe I was 22. Mm -hmm. And that was my first encounter with, I went to Gaveston and like some, some guys, they had a Confederate flag and they, they're just looking at me. They think I was gonna feel some type of way, but I have a mind, everyone I believe have a different understanding when it comes to life. And I just stick to my understanding because it is my understanding. Now, when I saw these two couple of guys with the Confederate flag, I'm just like, okay, we have a Confederate flag. Um, we can run that, it doesn't matter. We got some, some good from that. That's in 25 minutes. It shouldn't have been. We can check it out, it's up to you. But when that did take place is, I was approaching them and they felt nervous because it was three of them and it was only one eye. But I'm now coming more from the point where I approach them, I'm like, I don't care that you're wearing that, that flag. I will wear that flag because that flag.